Make it so, number one. Welcome back to Let's Play Halcyon 6 Starbase Commander with me, Squawker. And when we left off, it all gone a bit wrong, really. We tried to stop the cruel, well, we stopped some cruel by closing a portal, but now we've established a permanent spire which seems to be allowing them to breed in our own dimension now. We tried to take it out, however, the guards were not to be underestimated. Two very good officers were lost that day, and two very good ships also went down. So this leaves us in a stickier situation. I've now got a weakened 14th fleet, which is now on its way to try and stop some of the cruel who are now just spreading across the, the stars like a, well, they are a virus, but now they're spreading like even faster. So we're, we're in a bit of dire straits, really. Luckily, we did recruit some replacement officers who are going to be assigned their initial space powers, and we're going to try and make sure we are up and running with everything else, really, because... We've got to make up the lost ground. We are literally about to establish our cruel science lab though. And I think while I have the opportunity, I'm going to send some ships out to um, do some things. So the 13th fleet, or whatever's left of the 13th fleet, will have to make do. So this, they will be taking the junk heap, which will be piloted by Jihad Boss. So well done there. And unfortunately, we don't seem to have something else for our science officer. So we need to build a new science ship, in fact. I'm happy to send these two out on a repair trip, which I should have actually, I should have actually repaired them anyway, but I didn't. Um, <clears throat> but we do need to build a new ship, so we can probably go straight to building a tier 2 science ship. So something like a sorcerer or a magus, but they need a lot of dark matter, so it might be wiser for now to go cheap and build an acolyte or a disciple. But we'll go for an acolyte, which will cost us 660 dark matter because of a bit more hull strength, so that I'm fine with. But for now, we've got to have a battle before we even do uh, anything else. So, let's siphon the dark matter of this clipper and uh, start helping ourselves to some of its health. It's a very extended animation, by the way. There we go, right? It took its time, right? So, I'll start draining its health. Where by the way, today's system's trait is gravimetric interference, which means there is a resistance to having the weapons go down so that's a little bit crappier but it's alright we'll try and live. Let's try and start off with a fire at will to try and get some engines down even if it does put ourselves at risk. Alright hit some hard but we are now vulnerable but their engines are down which means a flak ride is going to deal some mega damage to that clipper and this game's lagging a bit today I'm noticing but whatever. Uh, damn it all by the way yeah damn it you are uh, taking some damage but we'll your whole car to rise quickly. And then we are going to launch a focus beam out here. Actually, you know what? Because he's got one of those weaker ships. Might be wiser, actually. And, um, uh, I could be better off just building an uh, advanced side ship. But we'll worry about that bit for now. That's one enemy down, one to go. So let's keep hitting him. So let's get a portal cannon against this Hulker, who is a very big fella, really. Uh, let's try and disrupt his weapons. Not effective. See, I was a signature to a gravimetric interference. Uh, let's go for a salvage harpoon then. Right, it's hold breach this button, but that's good. We can go for bridge shots, we can go for portal cannons. We're gonna do a double exploitation here now. So go for go for a bullseye and boom, right. He's already losing a lot of health, but he's just gone done his pinball bouncing all over the bowling ball move. Let's put that ship on critical, that's already good. Two ships in critical condition now. This is getting worse by the second, right? Focus beam him and try and get him down to a little lower health. You need to tune yourself up now. Let's see deconstruct death and above deconstruct shot man and flat gravity and force on It's a repair, right? Dodge. Just dodge. Right, we were lucky there. Except we've got another ship in critical condition now, and I can't even do the thing where we can just repair everything at once. I need, to, I need to save my more valuable officer, but this Hulker is going to win. We need to get out of here, lads. We can't win this one. And we've lost a ship. Damn it. We're on a downhill straight here. Lillian Galbraith was killed in the line of duty. Morale's getting worse. And uh, we need to recruit a replacement officer, which we can do, luckily, with 25 crew, so we're going to work on that now, but... Morale's just fucking off a cliff right now, which means we are just now... Well, 
everything's delayed, everything's more expensive, everything's just crap. But on the upside, we have a cruel lab, which means we can research cruel envirotech to survive in their environment. So, it's going to cost us 600, um, 600 dark matter to research cruel environments. I'll probably just get, let us uh, build something that will give us like mega massive bonuses to fighting cruel, but okay. Right, anyway, let's um, just send the 13th fleet around to uh, do some picking ups of things. Really need dark matter, but the crew will keep blocking it. And we'll get our new candidate, so we're going to recruit a new engineer. So it's Ursulus Campbell, who's got the salvage harpoon, tune up, and reinforce hull. He also has access to some other crap ground stuff. By the way, Ursulus Campbell has the decidedly non impressive distinction of being statistically the fastest vessel diagnostics officer in the Federation Navy meaning he can diagnose and solve problems second faster than the median federation engineer. It's not much, but as any of his co-workers could tell you, he really hangs his hat on it. So it's so boring, he has to take the smallest opportunity to feel good about himself. What else, right? Let's make sure he's got that tune-up power, reinforced hull, all that good stuff. And I don't think I can even afford a new ship for him. Like, I, can't, I don't think I can even afford a basic ship for him, which isn't doing me a lot of good right now. I mean... Engineering. Actually, I, c I could afford him a knight, so. And it's got the juggernaut upgrade anyway, so yeah. Work on that for him. For any other upgrades that we could maybe do to uh, help ourselves out, like fleet command? Uh, that's just where we manage our fleets. Uh, what's going on up here? Yeah, in the, up here we could do some things like we could continue to reduce the cost of repairs on the ship. I need another. Sh I need another officer to do that for me. Yeah, right now I don't have enough dark matter to get anything done. But right, we'll just keep harvesting materials at least. Uh, we need to get ourselves. We need to get our shit together in order to prepare another attack on the uh, attack on the cruel. It's very cruel. This game is it. Ho 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 ho. Right. I mean, this lot have come home, so. Fleet needs to really have a go, maybe at this one, maybe or and again, it's now just a Hulk, so we might be able to just go for it now. Um, not this fleet, by the way, because they're in transit. I want to send the um, I want to send the 14th fleet, don't I? But this is the, the 13th. Uh, right, either way, the iron rolling will need repairing. Uh, we oh, I can't afford to repair it. Fuck, right, not good not good is our situation, it's very not good, because anyway, that's the other ship. Uh, let's wait on that, let's wait on the night to be built, and then we can make our decision on what we're doing. First and first, transfer those things, and then uh, you go there, Mr. 13 Fleet. And our new night class starship is ready, so Ursula's Campbell will hop right on with that. And now we might be able to go and try and take on this fella again, even I don't like to take him on, but 14th Fleet, you're going to be on this one, so the time turn is going, as is the Archer and the Knight, which will, yeah, this is called the Archer, we'll call this the SS Mallory, and we'll call this one the SS Replacement. Right, cool. And we can't even repair. It's gonna be a tight fight, this. Uh, right, anyway, transfer those materials and get going. Uh, do I even have any quasars that are doing shit for me? I've got these ones which are just picking up what they can. I've got a dead quasar there, I've got a quasar. And, yeah, if all our quasars were under siege. Um, actually, is this one one that's working for us? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you know what? I'm going to send a fleet up there. Uh, 14th, 13th fleet, sorry. Can you go and have a look at that quasar? Do I own that one? Because I forgot. Uh, it's in ruins, but yeah, right, it's a dead one. Of course. But we could build it anywhere, which, you know what? I think we need a new one. Uh, so, you know what? Ibrahim, I want you to sit there for a few days, take some crew, and get to work on setting up a new extractor because. You know what, we're so low on dark matter, we need more income. Right, cauterize your hull now, or face consequences. As for you, I want you to focus beam this fella down. We're going to get him eliminated fully. 
Right, let's go for pull reinforcement as well to try and keep in a battle for as long as possible. Right, he tried to do some bile, but it didn't really do too much damage, right? Quickly cauterize a hold of the Mallory, and then we're gonna get start getting somewhere, right? Let's try and disable him. Not effective, right? This is not well, right? Salvage him. Alright, now we're making a move. He's vulnerable and his hull's breached, right? Use your last heal. That's already fucking tragic. We're gonna use our last heal. I don't know how long we're gonna stay in this fight, but we're gonna try and just go for maximum exploits. We know we have a great exploit. Get another great exploit out there. There we go, right? It's already. Right. He's lost a nice chunk of health now. Let's give yourself a tune up. Right, now. Keep trying to inflict something on him. Alright, still we. Oh, fuck, right. He's out. He's fucking out. Drain him. Right, luckily, his tune up's helping out, so that's good. Their crew's panicked now, so do I have anything to exploit? Panicked crew's not really. Um, right, just inflict a weapons destruction on him. Right, I've got to stop using that. That move because it doesn't do shit, right? Exploit the crew, get the shot line. Do shit, fuck it. Come on, right. A blade to field on him because he's dying. Right, this is pretty shit when we're struggling just to kill one of these fellas now. We have really gone downhill, but we've got, to get, we've got to get back up that hill. That's what we've got to do. We've got to get back up the hill, right? His ship's disabled. I've got anything to exploit a disabled ship. No, but I can deconstruct them to go for it. Right, his hull's down. He's, he's back in critical condition. Not good, not good, not good. Right, exploit the breach hull. I may have to be sacrificial here. Uh, right, go for a focus shot and just get him wiped out. Another blur to field right warp atomic structure. Right, he resisted that, but it still took a nice chunk of damage, right? You can't do a tune up for three turns, so you've you've got to just do a fit. The, uh, right. He's getting worse, right? Come on, come on, come on. Bull bullseye him. Right, nearly got this big fuck down, right? Portal cannon it. Right. Keep up with your invasive maneuvers. And as for you, right, what have we got still? We've still got a ship disabled, but... I've got enough to exploit this little ship. Right, fire at will. Just go for it. Resisted, and he... Oh, no! He was barely a day old, and he's gone. Oh my god, our death rate right now is like... We're having a fucking human resources nightmare here, right? Throw everything you've got at him. Finish... Oh, fuck. Oh. This is not going up, right? Come on. He's got to be finished now. Get this big bastard out of here once and for all. This bloody hulker. I do not like these big these guys anymore. Now he's on the brink of death, right? You've got to make the shot count. Two rounds, but that big fuck's gone, right? Good. Take your loot and get her. But Ursula's Campbell's death means morale is now even lower. Uh, but luckily the colony of eagles safe, so that's helping us out a little bit. And oh yeah, it's actually a HR nightmare. Well done. Uh, right, view facility. Grab everything we can out of here. Like that's what we're gonna do. Or just get home. Really, we're gonna have to. Uh, by way, reputation getting well done. Uh, can we even replace our officers? Like I think we're pretty much. I think we're pretty much blown it. I mean, like everyone's gonna say, "Oh my god, I'm just not working for this," because you, your life expectancy is now like a day. Uh, no, we can go for replacement. Right, we need to pick up some more crew members as well. That's something we should really look at. Um, got a few star systems that I need that doing, but right now I've got other peeps working. But right, at least that's an enemy fleet taken care of, even if we are now just really just fucking shitting ourselves in all other departments now. So Cheyenne Gomez is our new girl. She's got a quick tune-up, supercharged polarity, and a repair drone overdrive. She's also known as the hero of a battle of Dark Horse Nebula, where she performed a daring ram manoeuvre against the Zlar battleship, or alternatively, the hero of a battle of Yartanis Field, where she also performed a daring ram manoeuvre against a malfunctioning collective science vessel. Chain goes as an influence perhaps over using ramming manoeuvres at every opportunity. 
No officer has received more citations for potential vessel endangerment than her, but she's always succeeding in overturning them on their appeal. So she'll basically she'll she'll die. Oh, look, I don't think she had a ramming speed ability unlocked on her immediately, which is bizarre. But okay, whatever. I'm gonna get these powers set up now. So at least we've got our selection. And she'll have no ship, and I can barely afford a new ship, so that does not put me in good stead. But I do have little, uh, li yeah, we've got some data matter inbound anyway, so that might just be an... Oh, it's shitting itself again, and one is on its way to the star base, and it's a big one. Right, we're in trouble now, bitch. We are in trouble now. Like, seriously, we're, we're fucked. Like, we're, we're, we're in super big trouble. We need to build a new engineering ship now, so we're going to build a new knight. Uh, we're just going to take time, because everything takes time now. We're nearly out of crew as well, we're getting very unpopular, I mean unpopulated, and we've got three days to wait now. So, and we're being, yeah, we're, we're being, uh, we're losing morale, we're losing health. Dark Matter Extract has been rebuilt though, so right, can you lot maybe start heading home, or at least you know what? Pick up some uh, crew first, and I'm just got, I'm gonna sit here and wait for that night. But we are now very rapidly losing hold. Right, Cheyenne, get get in that ship and get ready. We are moving out against the cruel, so send new fleet. We are going to send the once more the well, actually no, you lot are out on duty, aren't you? Fourteenth fleet. It's just not good for us, but the SS replaced because you have replaced something and say whatever dark matter you have we can't even repair that one can we repair this one we can't we can't afford any repairs whatsoever we're not gonna win uh by the way have that and here we go then i guess by the way a shuttleman all oh, right our shuttle was destroyed by bombardment which means i've got to rebuild that fucking satellite now great right Start off with some hull cauterizations, please. Right, bullseye, the chopper, the gas, I don't know, just bullseye everything. Right, he dodged that one good. And now that one pissed off. Great, right, which means it's gonna do more damage, so we need to we need to get it we need to get it killed now. Breached, right, portal gun it. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. Right, focus beam it as well. Not effective, right, that's annoying. And you're not, you're not doing well at all. Right, can you do, give yourself a tune-up? Keep yourself in the game? Right. What the atomic structure of this ship? Right, it's panicking. Good, 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 good. Right, let's exploit that panic. I can't do it with this ship, but what we could do is we could go for a triple shot and just give everyone else a little bit of damage as well. That was a critical hit, by the way. Still taking a little bit of damage. Oh, we're losing health across the board, right. Exploit that crew panic mode, try and get that ship out of there. Just fuck off. Right, come on. Right, do some hull cauterization on yourself. And then go for a bullseye on him. Right. Nearly out, but it managed to screwed itself back to health. Right, heal, please, heal. Right, bullseye it. Right, flak barrage. Yes, I know you, you're terrified of being on a brick set, but you're on it so much now. I thought, yeah, I thought you know you've got used to it, but I can't. Oh, that's another one down, right? Hit it with another flat barrage. We've got to keep going now. Let's hold on for as long as we can. He's panicking, and we can hit it with one of those. No, uh, yeah, not good, not good, not good. I can't explode that. Crew. What we could do though is we could inflict a hull bridge with some deconstruction, however. There we go, we can exploit that now with a what with a port gun. And we can try and smash it with a disabling strike to disrupt its weapons. Uh, port gun it again, come on. Right. It's losing its health now, right? Keep yourself tuned up. And you need to go for a bridge shot as well. Disrupted, brilliant, right. Is there anything we could exploit with you? Not really, but what we could do is we could just keep hitting it with that portal cannon just to keep ourselves in the game for a little longer. Bullseye him, right, he's going down, flack him to death. How did he resist? Oh, because he's healing, of course, right, come on. 
He ain't allowed to do that. He has to die now. That's a star base safe for a little longer then at least. That was a close one though. On the upside, that'll be enough dark matter to carry out fleet repairs. So we could try and intercept one of these guys. We've got bashers, ghasts, ghasts and bashers. Oh, it's all not looking good. We've got an uh, adult basher there as well. Uh, they're all basically on their way to all sorts of shit. So, um, yeah. I think we'll try and take on this one. So we'll send. We'll have a fleet make its way over there. So we'll, I get, think we have to allow them to appear. Oh, great. The yablings appeared to, uh, to tell me that I still owe them the world, basically. Right. Send whatever's left of the 14th fleet out and do full repairs. We might just make it. And the Starbase crew have a question regarding station furniture. This is not really the best time, but okay. The large slabs of stone from which we've made most of the station furniture is proving to be highly uncomfortable for the crew. They've requested a new set of furniture which would need to be built in a foundry. So I can either transfer them that matter and encourage them to make furniture using re replicators instead. Dismiss the stupid request or promise to build a foundry. I guess I'll have to promise one to get morale because... Yeah, and that's actually now become my new task. Build a foundry. I have 20 days to do that. I'm probably not going to get that done. Uh, do I even have any empty rooms? Right, who's inbound on the starbase? Is anyone inbound on the starbase? You, get yourself home now. We've got to build ourselves some stupid bullshit, right? And there's also about to happen, right? Let's let's make this one a victory, by the way. We are having a resistance to vulnerable, the vulner vulnerability, not busy. We can't make people so vulnerable this time around, but what we can do is we can panic the crew, and then we can try and disrupt their weapons with a bridge shot. I meant to put this clipper in it in its stead, right? Let's uh, exploit its panic crew with some shock mine. Right, shock mine just seems just to do fuck all, don't they? Right, portal cannon it. Okay, let's go up one of these. Oh, it evaded, but it's still looking quite ill. What, what? Yeah, maybe explain it to me later, right? Also, range things look a little far as now. Right, portal cannon it. One down, one to go. Perfect. Right, bullseye him. And hit him with a flat barrage. And now, bend space time if you can do that, except you can't. Of course you can't. Right. I don't even call this for time turn. Remember, if you can't even bend the fucking space time, but get a virus uploaded. And exploit that virus with a nice, lovely focus beam. Yeah, that's a lot of health he just shed, except we're now in a pretty much critical state here. So, right, start tuning yourself up. Right, go for a bullseye. Cauterize a hull. Right, weapons were disrupted there. Right, fire at will. Go all out on him. Excellent, right. His engines are down, which means we can smack him with a flat barrage. And out he goes. Yes! I had a battle that wasn't a complete and total catastrophe. That gave me a little bit more morale. I'm slowly getting myself up there. And Sarah Ripley was promoted, so well done, Sarah. You will now have access to the cloak, because well done, you get the cloak. Right, that's making life a little easier for me now. Uh, we should try and pick up some additional crew while we're around uh, So let's go to Rigel and um, deal with that, please. By where some resources were retrieved, so hooray and deray. Right, transfer that crew to the fleet. Uh, let's go to the Starbase now and we're going to have to explore some land. So, Ibrahim, can you go and do that, please? Taking three days to explore that. And as for you, can you just basically just go and do everything? Because I say so. I hope there aren't any. Fuck more fucking creatures in that area, by the way, because I need to get this foundry done now, don't I? Uh, send the 14th fleet over, by the way. Just keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. And yeah, explosion event, we found leeches again. So we're going to have to attack them now because, yeah. I need to do I need to do everything I can to get this foundry up, so we'll take down the leeches. Right. Uh, deploy officers, by the way. Hello, officers. Right. 
yeah, that wasn't very good. You are now being fed on, and he can fire missiles at you, which means you are now... You've got a body sting, which is making you less resistance to damage, and you've also, you're also bleeding. Great, right. Well, let's start by making the enemies all paranoid about everything. Nice, we're confused, right. Don't really have anything to exploit about, but we can make the enemy bleed for a bit with a shrapnel grenade. Classic, and probably very dangerous to use, but it's okay. And since he's bleeding, I don't really have anything to exploit bleeding, but I can always go for a drone takedown as well. Right, Ian doing well, but the enemy is trying to heal, and it's trying to use its horrible spit, so... Let's give it some organ failures. That sounds extremely nasty, actually, and then just finish him with a phase of blast. That's one down. Right, one to go. Right, take him down with a drone. Two down. Brilliant. So that hive's done, and we can continue our exploration of that area. As for you, grab that fuel, and then please return home. Alright, we might be starting to recover, but we're definitely still in a bit of a bad state, but right, good. That section's been cleared out, and we can now build a foundry, except I don't know how to build one, because I haven't researched foundries yet, probably. Fuck. Right. Uh, there's foundry, right. Research the foundry facility to make advanced starship equipment and increase uh, Halcyon 6's health. Right. Oops. I don't have enough dark matter. I'm probably not going to have enough dark matter before that quest expires, so I've basically lost it and I've basically lied to the crew. I should I should forward plan my lies a little better so I have a way to weasel out of them, but we'll worry about that shit later and also watch our morale just drop even more because, yeah, we've got mutiny and no air. Yeah, basically, we can't do shit now. So we'll watch everything get worse on the next episode because that's pretty much where we're destined to. I think we're now on a slippery slope of death. So we'll continue sliding down at on the next episode. So until then, have a lovely evening, my friends. Now,